about the mother-daughter relationships, especially for me since I play Helga, um, between Helga and Eva, and then later on between Eva and Lil, and then in the present, you know, between Faith and Evelyn, which is Eva when she's grown up. So you really see that transition from Eva when she's younger, her relationship with Helga, and then when she's older, her kind of re, um, like realizing those, those things that she felt when she was a child with her daughter, Faith. And that's part of it, certainly. And the other would have to be with the Holocaust. I mean, it's certainly still relevant today. And I think people need to keep that alive. They need to remember what happened so that it won't happen again. So it's, I think it's incredibly important that we are doing a play this is, that is this relevant to today's work. Very, Helga is a super strong character. I mean, she is the strongest character I've ever played in my life. One of the strongest I've ever read. I mean, the choice, what she has to deal with, and yet she still endures through it. She still is able to say, I'm going to start again. She just keeps moving forward. And I think that's so important. And with everything else that she has to face. Well, this play to me is about finding out your family, especially for my role as Faith. I found out a little bit more about my mother's side, which I particularly didn't know about, which was amazing, because I had no idea what anything on either side of my parents. And now to see something come together like that, it's amazing. This type of show, you have to in fully invest all your emotions and your whole mind to it. And there, you could see some scenes when you see the show. <laughs> you could see it come out, and like you just give everything you got. Um, so Eva, Eva doesn't. Eva is young when she leaves. She's only nine years old. So uh, a lot of the themes that Eva deals with in everyone is like family and relationships, especially the mother and daughter bond going on, because Eva kind of has two mothers throughout the show. First is Helga, and then her adopted mother is Lil. And um, Eva's mother, first mother, Helga, her real mother, tells is preparing her to go to England, and she's telling her that she needs to be able to live without her. She needs to be able to learn how to sew by herself and learn how to live on her own and support herself. So she ends up going to England, and she does exactly what her mother prepared her for, and then she meets this new woman, Lil, who takes care of her, and then the relationships between mother and daughter get weird when Helga comes back, and Eva has grown up now. She goes from being nine years old to being 15 years old, and she doesn't even have a good memory of what happened of her mother. So. Um, yeah, she, it's a lot about mother and daughter relationships. Especially like, you know, where we are in like society, like all um, women and everything, like, you know, it's great to have so many strong female roles and to show how, like, like I mean, Helga, Dr. Harlan said the other day, Helga is one of, is probably the strongest character in the show. Um, we talk about it all the time, like, she was, she survived the camps. Um, one of the uh, scenes in the show is that um, she says to me, uh, like you're wasting an opportunity that hardly anyone gets, and um, it's just amazing that out of all the people that survived, like that all the people that died in the camps, she makes it out and stays true to herself and comes back. And she made a promise at the beginning of the play, and she keeps that promise. So she's just such a strong female character, and the whole season that we have is full of very, very strong female characters, and it's it's amazing.